Hey everybody, Crypto Mentor 99. How you doing? Hey, it's still June the 6th, late afternoon. And I promise you this video is not fake news. Now, why am I saying that? Because when I first saw this article, I'm like, no, no, no. This article can't be. It's fake news, but I checked into it and it's not fake news. So before I get into the article, let me say this. Never, never, never take anyone's word for anything on YouTube, including myself, until you've checked out the facts. Don't take what I say as 100% truth. I mean, it's going to be, I'm not gonna exaggerate, but you don't know me. I mean, I gotta be honest with you, like check my facts, I'm not gonna exaggerate, I'm not gonna do anything to harm you, but don't take my word for it, you gotta do your own due diligence. So this video, or this article that I'm doing the video on, I don't know if I should laugh because it's so ridiculous or cry because it's so sad. And some of you may not even believe me, okay? This is on CryptoVest. I'll put it in the link below. I can't believe this. So there's an ICO called Block Broker, okay? And it pulled a scam on all the investors. And you're like, well, what's so unique about that? Okay, what's so unique about that is that the project was aimed at filtering out scam ICOs and it did the exact same thing it said it was there to prevent. That was a mouthful. I don't even know if I could say that again, but I'll try. So there was an ICO called Block Broker and they pulled an exit scam. Okay, but what makes this so sad is that the project that they were aimed at filtering out, meaning the whole project was about filtering out ICO scams, the same thing that they set out to do for the investors is the exact same did, thing that they did. There, I'm not going to say it three times. You get the point. So... Again, the same ICO that wanted to eradicate ICO scam scams turned out to be a scam. I mean, oh, oh my God, this is painful. This is not a feel-good story. The team went into hiding, wiping out all communication channels. The website says it's down for maintenance. It's sad. It's sad. So the same people, I'm guessing, that would get scammed in this were the same people that would turn around and say cryptocurrency is fake, it's phony, don't invest in it, you know. Um, oh. And these people if they do say that, are going to miss out on a lot of gains in other projects moving forward. And what compounds the problem even more, okay, is that on one of the ICO websites, this was given a grade of 5.0, a five star out of five. It says the aim of Blockbuster was ambitious, and I quote, in a world where a new ICO is popping up every second day, fraud has become a major issue. Research has shown that 10%, I thought it'd be higher, 10% of ICOs are fraudulent, but that number is rising. So Block Broker sent out to provide 100% safe environment 
for ICO investors, and the same thing that they said they were trying to prevent, they did. There, I said it three times. This is unbelievable. Unbelievable. If you've been scammed on Blockbroker, I just want to apologize to you, on, and I'm being serious, because I, I know I've been scammed, let's just say it that way. I know the feeling of just, mm, I know the feeling. I know the feeling, I'm sorry. Is there a way to prevent this? Short term, no. This gets into another area, but I think regulation, as much as we want everything to be decentralized, and it hurts me when I read articles like this, and then I have to report on them, but I want to report on the good, the bad, and the ugly of the crypto space, and even what I've done and the mistakes I've made, because I want to be transparent to you all, but this one, yeah, this one was tough, tough video to do, to be honest with you. Anyhow, Crypto Mentor 99, take a look at this article. Again, you don't know, just, okay, I'm just going to add this. I was going to stop on the video. Someone said to me once, and I'm going to find this, and I'll do the video, and I'll link it below. Like, how do I do my due diligence? That's what I did. I did a video on that. I'm going to put it in the link below. But, I mean, you've got to look at, you know, LinkedIn and the website and see what other people are saying about the ICO and see who's on the team, who are the advisors. You know, I invested in a few ICOs that were backed financially by Vinnie Lingham. Vinnie Lingham is huge in the crypto space, okay? And that, oh, there's my little doggy right there. Hey, Raspberry. Get back in the kitchen. We don't do retakes here. Um, he's a photo hound. Anyhow, where was I at? Um, so you want to invest in projects that have like a track record? Like who, who's, who's on the team? Who are the advisors? Anyhow, I'm going to put that in the link below. Take a look at that video. I think you'll learn a few things. And again... Thanks for being part of my crypto family and uh, be careful. It's rough out there. See you later. Bye-bye.